Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today, we're going to be creating a makeup look where every product I use is under the price of $10. I decided to do this makeup look because I was like, you know what? I do so many like high-end makeup looks that I need to roll it back and try to find things that are affordable. Makeup is expensive. It can sometimes be overwhelming when you have like this product, this, like all these products and you're just trying to like keep up. Most of the products in here today, I'm not gonna lie, they are from the drugstore and I'm going to share them with you today and we're gonna create a whole look. So without further ado, let's get started. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So first we're going to start off with brows today. I feel like brows, brows, brows is something that I always do. I typically do it off camera, but since we're creating a whole look with everything under $10, I want to show you guys what I'm using today. So today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I have two shades here. I'm kind of going to bounce back and forth from. I'm using the shades Rich Brown and also Soft Brown. I'm going to just see how they work. For some reason lately, I feel like my brows are growing and I'm loving it. I don't know, ever since I started using the pencil instead of the dip brow type formulas, I don't know, I've been loving the look of my brows. This pencil is like perfect. It gives you so much more control over your brows. So now I'm gonna go in and clean up under my brow. I'm gonna be using this Even 24 Hour Flawless HD Concealer in the shade Deep Tan. So now that we've completed the brows, we're finally gonna move on to primer. Today I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend Skin Smoothing Primer. I like the skin smoothing primers because they kind of create like a blur at the same time. So that's why I love to use them. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation. Today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Matte Poreless foundation in the shade 370 this foundation is like an og foundation for me like i barely have something left in this bottle honestly <laughs> when maybelline came out with those extra shades i was addicted to this foundation and could not get my hands off of it so i have to shake whatever's left in that bottle down there so i'm taking my morphe beauty sponge to apply this lately i've been applying my foundation with my morphe beauty sponge which is something that i really didn't used to do but I'm not gonna need a lot. My actual elf brush that I love to use is really dirty and I'm just really lazy and have yet to clean it. That's why you really haven't been seeing it because I'm a lazy girl. I'm a lazy girl. So this shade is just perfect for my skin. Woo! Like it blends just like right on you with my skin to where I'm like, okay, is it on? Is it on? Now I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to be using, this is my actual first time using this one, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. It looks like it'll fit my skin tone. This is the deepest shade that they actually have in this concealer. I really want to try their foundation, but of course it's way too light for me, so this is what I'm stuck with trying out. I like the coverage off top of this. Like, dang. It's really nice. Really, really nice, the coverage. And the color is really nice too on me. Not too bright, just, just right. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to my eyelids. I can go ahead and start prepping those. Wow. I let this concealer under my eyes settle a little bit. Just gonna blend this out first and then I'll move on to the under eye. All right, now I'm gonna take my Morphe Beauty Sponge and just tap this out. Look at the coverage on this bad boy. 
Hmm, okay. Wow. So now it's time to set the base. I'm gonna go in and take the Maybelline Matte Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This powder is in the shade 35. I'm gonna take my Morphe Beauty Sponge again which, and I'm gonna set my entire face. So now I'm gonna go in and bronze up the face. I'm gonna use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the shades Medium Deep. And I'm taking this Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Just using this to warm up the skin. So now it's time to pop up some highlighter. I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade 100. It is super duper beautiful. So for eyes today, I'm going to be going in and using the Maybelline City Mini Palette. This palette is just absolutely beautiful. When I saw it in the store, I just had to pick it up. It is so fall, so beautiful, and we're gonna pop it on our eyes today and see what it's all about. Before we get started though with the eyes, I want to go in and set my face because I want this to kind of start working in so afterwards everything can just be right. I am going to use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray really quickly. It's my actual first time using it, so pretty excited, guys. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to take is like the only matte shade in this palette, which is probably like the only downside to this palette because it has one green matte shade and then the other shades are shimmer shades, which you know, those cannot go in the crease. So this is what I'm stuck with, but such a beautiful palette. I'm going to take this green shadow and I'm just going to work it inside my crease. I'm gonna quickly switch brushes. I'm gonna go in and use the M441 brush. Yeah, I love this brush because it helps pick up more product. Now I'm gonna go right back over this shadow with some concealer. I'm gonna be adding a shimmer shadow right on top of this, so I just kinda wanna make sure that it pops. I'm not even really trying to cut the crease. I'm just really trying to apply some concealer to the lid. That's all. So I'm really kind of like going back and forth between sh two shades. And it's this one and this one. They are so beautiful. And I kind of just want to use both of them today. Really just want to use all of them. But I'm going to use this one first. And I may top it off with this one. But let's just see how this one looks on the lid first. Love it. I love it. If I was just wanted to do like a nighttime eye, I would totally just do what I have under my eyes. Pop some lashes on and call it a day. So there is fallout with it. I feel like I should have kind of sprayed it with some setting spray and then it would have been perfect. But I mean, the eyes look beautiful. They really do look beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with that lighter shadow right here. Oh, so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that white and I'm actually going to apply it to the brow bone. Okay, so now I'm gonna just clean up the sides of my eyeshadow. That green likes to get out of hand. So while that is settling on the sides of the face, I'm gonna go in and use this gel even liner to line my waterline. And now I'm gonna take that original green shadow. All right, so now let's go in with some mascara. I'm gonna be going with the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast Mascara to coat the lashes. 
So of course for lashes today, I'm gonna go in and use Miss Lashes. They're like $3 in the store, they're super affordable, and I just love them. All right, so now let's go in and wipe off this excess powder. All right, so now let's finish up with taking some mascara and that lower lash. To top this whole look off, we're gonna go in and apply some lips. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild liquid lipstick. It's called Take It Like a Vamp. It's a very pretty, flawless shade. All right guys, so here is the look. I hope you guys liked it. I created this whole entire look with products that were under $10. So, hmm, I really do like the look. It's a lot of products in here that was my first time trying like the Wet n Wild Concealer and I am so in love with it. I'm so in love with my eyeshadow look. I feel like this eyeshadow palette, even though it had one matte in it, it's so convenient because you really only need one matte with all these shimmers. You can really do a lot with this and just create the perfect look. It's a really good palette for when you're on the go and you just need to pop, pop, pop on the eyes. And this lip color is so popping. This look is so far. I am absolutely in love with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look because I absolutely love bringing this to you guys, creating this for you guys. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Bye guys.